Hi and welcome to number two. This is the exercise that is exercise two at the bottom of the tab. That's part of the PowerPoint you're working through. Um, what we're after is going from trial balance here, putting the figures into the income statement and the balance sheet. And with a bit of luck, we'll have the net assets, which will be in this cell here, equaling um, the EV capital. In this cell here. Double underline here to show that they're going to balance. Got a little message here to just type equals and then click on the words in the trial balance. Saves a lot of time when typing and the changes are made automatically. We'll see that as we go. So the first thing we need to do is to classify everything here in the trial balance. Debit side first. The debit side is where you put your money. So it's going to be expenses, assets and drawings. Firstly we're going to classify the assets. When we go down, we can see our first asset is account receivable. If we click on A3, hold the control key down, and click on all the other assets that you have. Next one being bank, then equipment, then land and buildings, and vehicles. We're going to go up here to our fill color, and we're going to color them all blue. Assets. Expenses. Expenses are where we pay money and yet there's nothing to show physically for it at the end. So they're going to be things like accounting fees. So click on A2, hold the control key down and keep it down. Advertising, builders' wages, large amount there. Insurance, interest, office expenses, and vehicle expenses. By holding the control key down, it selects them all. And we're going to colour them green. The only one not coloured is drawings. Drawings is a negative equity account because it's the owner taking money out of the business. So we're going to colour that in yellow, as well as capital over here, which is the investment at the start. On the credit side, we've got liabilities and income. Liabilities first, so we'll click on Accounts Payable, hold the Control key down again, and click on GST Payable, on Loan, and lastly Mortgage. We'll colour them in red, so we can remember the liabilities. The last two are Income Accounts, so we've earned money. For fees, hold the, uh, we'll make that purple. Control key down, red, that goes purple as well. Alright, hard work done. Now we're just going to put this jigsaw together by using the colours we've got. Income to start, go into F3 and type equals. So the first income, purple one we have is fees. Click on fees and enter. Type equals again and find the second income, red is fees, and enter. To bring the numbers in, highlight both fees and rent and fees, and move your mouse to this bottom right hand corner here and see how your mouse will change from a big plus over that square to a little plus. Left mouse click and drag across. That's called a fill command and it takes the figures next to it and fills it across. Total income. Total income is equal to fees plus rent receipts. So we're going to click in the H5. And H5 uh, is in the third column. The third column are all the important things. To add them up, go up and click on the auto sum button. I like what you want to add. And then press enter. Easy. Expenses. Again, equals. And we're going to find the green items over here. Accounting fees. Enter equals advertising, enter equals build of wages, enter equals insurance, interest, office expenses, and vehicle expenses. To bring the figure, same process, highlight all of those, put the mouse over onto this bottom right hand square. 
with a little plus. Please mouse click and drag across. And these are all the amounts for the expenses. Auto sum, add all the expenses up. Auto sum, highlight what you want to add, and enter. Your net profit, type equal. Net profit is equal to your income minus your expenses. So we're going to type equal. Click on your total income. In H5, type minus and click on your total expenses. And your net profit is 368000 I like commas on all of mine just to make it easy to read. So I'm going to click on this 14,000 up here, which is formatted like I like it. Go up to Format Painter, click on that, and then highlight all the numbers. You'll see these nice commas. It just makes it easy to read. Moving over to the assets section in the balance sheet. So we start on equals again and look for the blue items in our trial balance. First one, account receivable. Enter equals bank. Enter equals equipment. Enter equals land and buildings. Enter equals vehicles. Enter. Highlight and we're going to fill across again. Did you remember? Total assets, do you remember how to do that? Click on the cell down here and what do you do? Yep, that's right, auto sum. I like the ones you write. Okay, total assets 724,600. Liabilities. We take these away, even our net assets still there. Again, equal, accounts payable, enter, we're looking for our red items, GST payable. Right, highlight, fill, auto sum. Well done. Our total liabilities, 264,500. Our net assets is equal to, the type equals, and it's equal to our total assets less our total liabilities. So click on your total assets up here in L8, type minus, click on your total liabilities, and your net assets, 460,100. That's an important figure. We're going to make that bold. And even up here, I'm going to do this accounting double underline. Capital. Capital is the amount of capital at the start. We find that up in the trial balance up here, the yellow one. Our profit. Should have covered this one. Our profit we're going to add is from the income statement. So we've got only capital plus profit. We're going to take away our drawing. So I want to type equals and then minus to show we're going to take it away. Go over to your trial balance and find your drawings figure, 88,000. And make sure it says negative 88,000. So our ending capital is equal to opening capital plus our profit, less our drawings. Because I've got a minus sign here, I can just auto sum. Fingers crossed that it balances 460, 100, 460, 100. Perfect. I'll just keep that formatting with you. Click on this one. Format. And I do want commas here too. Looking good. So we've got 40,000, uh, 460,100. 460,100. We balance 
and stand up until it works. What do you think? Do you think this uh, business has done well? Well, at least just assess it for a second. They started off with a capital of 180,000. The end capital is 460,000. So if I'm looking at the important figure, the third column, the third column, I can see that the capital has increased dramatically from 180 to 460. The main reason is the profit is way higher than the drawing. I've done a great job. Well done. Mm -hmm.